Hi, it's Sim from Heirloom Naturally here. We grow old fashioned vegetables and seeds in the field without chemicals in the wonderful high country town of Mansfield, Victoria. And today's video on the heirloom pumpkin varieties that we're growing here in our market garden this season will cover two different varieties, although they will probably look very familiar to you in the first instance. And that's because I'm covering two varieties that are believed to be the ancestors of the butternut pumpkin that we see regularly in our supermarkets and greengrocers. But these two varieties are just so much more flavoursome, so much more lovely to look at. And I think uh, really they started with the best and then uh, created something that is absolutely wonderful in itself but really you can't surpass the two varieties that I'm going to be talking about today. The first is called the Pennsylvania Dutch Crookneck. Bit of a mouthful to say, but you can see why it is called a crookneck because its neck is a little bit crooked. Uh, this is an old Amish variety that is known to date back to the 1750s. Uh, like the butternut pumpkin that we see in our supermarkets today, its seed cavity is in the base so all of this neck here is 100% lovely flesh and the seed cavity is quite small in the base. It is believed that this is the mother of the common butternut pumpkin that we see today. Um, it is a lovely thick skin, great keeper, orangey yellow flesh on the inside uh, and depending on the season and these, can, these necks here can actually almost curve back on themselves. Uh, this season, ours have been a little bit more straight. So this one here is a little curvy. Um, so it gives you a nice little handle to carry it with. But this is also a, a Pennsylvania Dutch crook neck. And you can see that its neck is actually quite straight. Uh, again, same variety. It, it just really does depend on the season in terms of how crooked the neck becomes. So... This one here is believed to be the mother of the butternut pumpkin. So if we've talked about the mother of the butternut pumpkin, we should probably talk about the father of the butternut pumpkin too. And this one here is an Italian heirloom. It's from southern Italy. So I'm going to try my high school Italian out here as I talk about this one. Uh, this one is called Violina di Rogosa. Um, and Violina in Italian is the violin. So it kind of has a bit of a violin shape to it. Um, but the other name that it is commonly called is the wrinkled butternut. And again, you can see why that would be the case. Lovely wrinkled skin. Uh, again, looks like a butternut pumpkin. And commonly it is known as the ancestor to the butternut pumpkin. So I'm going to say that it's the father of the butternut pumpkin. This too, like the other variety that I just showed you, the Pennsylvania Dutch crookneck, has the seed cavity in the base. Um, so lots of lovely sweet flesh. Um, it is absolutely divine in its flavour and its taste. The skin is edible as with the other variety that I just showed you as well. And like all heirlooms, they never come out of the, out of the vine as a one shape fits all, so to speak. Um, so this is a violon, Violina di Ragosa, as is this one here, uh, again. You can see that it looks like a violin shape. Uh, and some of them are actually quite large as well. So um, you do get a very wide range of shapes and sizes within this variety of pumpkin also. Um, but I think that they started with the best two varieties to make the common butternut pumpkin today. Um, so if you'd like something different, something lovely and sweet, this variety is common in Southern Italy um, it has been around for a very long time, um, so why go common in the way that you eat your pumpkins? Uh, we have seeds available of both varieties on our website and also available on our farmer's market stall at the moment as whole pumpkins. So the key to staying well this winter is to nourish your body with good food. So eat well, stay well. <music>